Okay, we're going to look at some applications today of synthetic division. Uh, remember, the first thing you know about synthetic division is it helps you determine if a number is an x-intercept, a root, a zero, or a solution of the graph. If the remainder is zero, it actually is. Um, uh, the second thing is you can use it to factor. The first thing you have to do is that root of x plus 2 there in front. We have to say, well, if I have a factor of x plus 2, the root would be x equals negative 2, and that's the number I stick in my funny box. It's hard to draw a box here, so that's the best I can do. And then I put my coefficients out to the side, so I have 2x to the thirds, uh, 1x squared, uh, negative 5x's, and 2 for my plain numbers. Skip a line, and then I uh, go ahead and start filling in, so I'm going to end up bringing down my 2. And then I multiply the 2 on the bottom times the negative 2 over there. So that means I get a, let's see, 2 times negative 2 should be a negative 4. Then I add these numbers up. So negative 1, I'm sorry, 1 plus negative 4, negative 3. Multiply by negative 2 is a positive 6. And then add those numbers is a positive 1. Multiply by negative 2 is a negative 2 and then this one turns out to be a zero. What that remainder of zero tells you is it tells you that I do have a factor here because anytime this remainder is zero, it tells me x plus two is a factor. And furthermore, I can say the two x squared minus three x plus one is a second factor. So it would be perfectly acceptable to factor that as two x squared minus three x plus one times the x plus two because the remainder is zero. If the remainder was not zero, you could not factor it that way, but that's how you figure this out. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, give you a second to try the next one. You might want to pause the video and then we'll look at it together. Okay, on this next one, I'm going to need to figure out a um, if it's an x minus one, that means my number I'm going to be dividing by is an x equals one. And then my coefficients are 3, 2, negative 19, and 6. Okay, bring down your 3. So that gives you a 3 there. Multiply the 3 times 1. Always multiply the numbers on the bottom times what's there. So 3 times 1 is 3. Add it up is 5. Multiply is 5. Add it up is negative 14 multiply is negative 14, added up is negative 8. Now in this case, negative 8, this remainder is not equal to 0. So since my remainder is not 0 there, that means uh, this is not a factor. So the answer to this, is it a factor, is no. What I do know is that I have the point 1, negative 8 is a point on my graph. This means that the value of f of 1 would be equal to negative 8. And that gets us into our next section. The fact that uh, you can figure out a value of f of x with synthetic division and divide it that way. We'll go ahead and work a few more examples on our next video.